If you intend to play two songs together at the same time, you want to make sure both tracks are at the same speed. Now speed is measured by BPM, that stands for beats per minute. And the song over here, you can actually see the beats per minute inside these little jog wheels here on your screen. So what happens is this is your tempo failure and this is where you change the BPM. So zero there is the actual speed that the song comes at, you know what I mean? So that's like right there, zero. That means this song's original speed is 124 beats per minute. But this one over here, I'll take it to zero as well. And this one here is actually 123. Now, if you were to play them both together, to be honest, they're at different speeds. It's gonna sound like shoes in a dryer. It's gonna be like all over the place, to be honest, right? So what you wanna do is you need to match the BPMs of both songs, and you can do that with the tempo fader. So I just make it in, take it in, make it the same as the one playing. Now, they say you can move the tempo fader five BPMs either side of the track's original speed without people really noticing. So if you had a song over here at 120 and one here at 130, you could actually meet them at 125 beats per minute and probably people probably won't pick up on it. But a couple of things to note about moving the tempo fader. So number one, firstly, if you're gonna be moving the tempo fader, you definitely wanna make sure this MT button, short for master tempo, is on. Now on club equipment, that button will be right above the tempo fader here. And on a lot of the more expensive controllers, it's actually on the gear right near the tempo fader. And by having that on, it means when you actually move the tempo fader here, it doesn't change the sound of the song, it just affects the speed. I wanna show you that. So I'll take the master tempo button off, but have a listen. Let's say I've got this playing. And let's say now I move it, listen. That's going like chipmunks, you know, you don't want that. You want to be able to change the speed of the song without affecting the sound. So I just always have that MT on. If ever you move and you're like, oh, fuck, it's chipmunks, just find that master tempo button or the key lock sometimes for Serato and make sure that's on at all times. And that means when I move this, listen, it's not changing the sound at all, even if I'm in here in the middle. I move it, see, that's just changing the speed not the sound, you wouldn't even notice. That's what I'm talking about. You don't wanna notice, okay? Now I can take that off to do pitch transitions, but that's a little bit more advanced.